previously on Lock of the Week. Damn, but I found a matchup that I really, really like. Lock of the Week for UFC 283 is going to be Daniel Marcos versus Simon Oliveira. And a lot of times when he's getting hit, it is very, very shell-up type style. And Daniel Marcos is one of those guys that can get around the high guard in his striking with his shots, the looping shots, the hooks, the uppercuts. Here we go, the live reaction to Lock of the Week, the first fight of the night. I cannot Wait, Daniel Marcos absolutely steamroll this dude Oliver. There's my dude. There's my dude. Seven wins. What the fuck is seven wins? This is gonna be easy. This is gonna be so easy. A little tired. There you go. Show him. Show him he's desperate. He's gonna shell up. You can get right here, baby. There you go with that body. Nice. Stay on him. Stay on him. He's tired, Daniel. This is it, baby. This is it, baby. This is it, baby. There you go, Daniel. There you go. Work him, baby. He's running, baby. He's running. He's desperate. All over. Look at him running. Look at him running. Woo. Woo. What are you looking for? Ain't nobody going to save you. What are you looking for, Simon? What are you looking for? There's nobody saving you now. There's nobody saving you now. He's ready, boy. There's that body shot again. I mean, this is an absolute Woo, body shot. Woo. Look at him protecting his body. Look at him protecting his body, baby. Let's go. Lock of the week, baby. Lock of the week. Live reaction. Never a doubt. We're starting off 2023 with an absolute bang. Daniel Marcos, lock of the week. Other two and a half. Let's go, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to We Want Pigs. My name is Jacob, a.k.a. the Freckled Salamander, a.k.a. your girlfriend's little side piece. Every time that you go off to work, I show up sneaking in the back door. Anyway, let's get into this week's Lock of the Week video for UFC Vegas 68. And as you saw, we are coming off another Lock of the Week win for UFC 283 and Daniel Marcos. It was one of the easiest Lock of the Weeks of all time. This week, I think, is also a another easy lock of the week but if you guys are new to this video and to this channel in general make sure you subscribe like the video comment your lock of the week and what that is is quite simply every single week I pick one underdog on every single card that I believe in my mind is going to win with 100% certainty and we have started off 2023 with a bang last year we went on a 10 fight winning streak you will see those fighters in the thumbnail 10 underdogs in a row it will never be done never be duplicated by anyone in this industry except for me I am going to beat the 10 in a row and it probably starts right now we're going three in a row for USC Vegas 68 but with that said Let's get right into Lock of the Week. Lock of the Week for USC Vegas 68 is very, very simple. It is going to be a road to the UFC fighter, and I am so, so excited because the person that he is fighting is not super dangerous, and I believe this fighter is the more well-rounded fighter and definitely has the power advantage. Lock of the Week for UFC Vegas 68 is none other than my dude, the hard-hitting, the wrestling, the cool, calm, collected, and super confident, my dude, Jekka. And watch this knockout in his last fight and come back and tell me that this guy isn't complete dynamite. This sounds like a shotgun going off. Watch this clip. But key, very aware of the that knockout was absolutely insane. And he backed it up in his fight previously with wrestling. He showed off his wrestling chops over and over. Dominated his first fight with wrestling. Even ended that with a knockout spinning back fist in the third round. Here, this dude, Jekka, is non-stop. He's got the wrestling advantage. He definitely has the power advantage, as you saw in that knockout. But he's also a very, very good striker. He reminds me a lot of Robert Whitaker, Bobby Knuckles. The way that he's able to throw combinations with the hands followed up with the feet. He has that same exact combination that Bobby Knuckles throws with the with the two punch combo followed up with the head kick. He loves throwing it. He also loves throwing that heavy, heavy leg kick. And against a guy like Jubilee, that is going to come into effect because Jubilee is a well-rounded fighter, 
more of a boxer, but he likes to be that boxing style, heavy on his front foot, extended combos, use his head movement. But as the fight goes on, this guy, Jubilee, his defense gets sloppier and sloppier. His hands get lower and lower. He's getting hit more and more. And we have seen what happens when Jekka is able to land clean shots on these dudes. So I absolutely love Jekka in this matchup. I have money line bets on him. I have inside the distance bets on him. Become a premium member to see everything I've got for the entire card and this fight specifically. Go to wewantpicks.com. Become a premium member. It is only $10 a month. It is, I mean, that is $10. We're talking $10 a month for my picks, Angelo's picks, DraftKings breakdowns, odds differentials throughout the week. It is much more than that, and it is only $10 a month. Crazy, crazy value, but this is the lock of the week. Jekka, my dude, should get it done inside the distance. If he doesn't, he might wrestle the whole time, but I am very confident in Jekka as my lock of the week this week to get 2023 off with three cards in a row with the lock of the week winner on to 11 15 20 i might not miss this entire year but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like the video subscribe if you are new put your lock of the week in the comments below one underdog for ufc vegas 68 i want to thank you guys for all the support on all the videos the entire channel as a whole and look for me to be live saturday for at least the prelims i know it's a late card but i'm gonna try to stick with you guys to help you guys out with the betting and enjoy the fights with you but this has been jacob aka the freckle salamander and i am out peace